Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Given some sets of real numbers, and it could be given to you in interval notation or set builder notation as we have here, this is just a way of describing the numbers that are in the set A because we can't list them all because there's an infinite number of them. So instead we say, well, we're looking at the set of all numbers. Um, we will assume when it's not indicated that these are real numbers. And these, this set of numbers, each of them in the set has a certain characteristic, and that is that they're all greater than or equal to three. Okay, so that's the set A. Set B, how would you describe that set in words? Set B is, yeah, the set of all numbers less than five, not including five because it doesn't say are equal to. So that's what that notation means. Now let's talk about unions and intersections. Right side up U is for union, so the other one is for intersection. And we call these set operations. What that means is it's just like with real numbers, we have the operations add, subtract, multiply, and divide. With sets of numbers, they work differently, so we have different operations we can do with them. Where, where two streets cross is an intersection in everyday life, right? So, for example, if I'm standing at the intersection of Griffin and University, I'm actually on both streets, yes? If I said, am I on Griffin Road, you'd say yes. If I said, am I on University, you'd say yes. Okay, so it's what they have in common. It's, it's the part where both characteristics are true. So in order to be in the intersection of A and B, it has to be that each element is in A and in B at the same time. If either part's false, then it's not in the set. So how do we deal with sets of numbers with intersections and unions? Well, when you're first getting comfortable with it, I highly recommend drawing number lines. So for example, I could depict the set A by drawing a number line putting the number that is the boundary for the set A, which is three on the graph. And then how would I depict all the numbers greater than or equal to three? A bracket facing left or right? To the right. Okay, so bracket, why is it not parentheses or an open circle? It's including three because it's greater than or equal to. Remember, A was everything where X is greater than or equal to three. When you actually draw the picture, you see where the symbol for greater than came from. It's an arrow pointing to the right. Okay, you see how we draw the picture going to the right? That's where that symbol actually came from. Since we're interested in finding the intersection of A and B in this first one, let's draw a picture of B as well. And I'm going to label my boundary value five appropriately along the um, number line in order to be able to compare it to A. For example, I would not want to put the five here, would I? because five is definitely not to the left of three, so that's not gonna help us to understand what we're talking about. So I'm gonna put the five to the right of three, just to make sure that it aligns nicely with A, and then X less than five parenthesis facing which way? Left. To the left, which is why less than points like a little arrow to the left, to the left of five on the number line, that's all that means. Okay, now just like Talking about the intersection of Griffin Road and University, where would I have to be in order to be both in the set A and in the set B? Where do they overlap? So comparing the two, looking at their boundary values, we basically have split up this number line into three pieces. We have the piece from negative infinity to three, the piece from three to five, and the piece from five to positive infinity, right? Which of these segments is actually in both drawings? Three to five, yes. A intersect B, its graph, has to include everything from here to here. Then you look at the endpoints, though. You have to decide whether three is in the set and whether five is in the set. Remember, to be in the intersection, it has to be in both of the original sets. So is three in both of the original sets? It is, right? This set B goes everything less than five, so three is less than five, it's in there. And in set A, it's the boundary value that's included, we can tell from the bracket. Okay, on the other hand, five, is five in the set A? Yes, it is. Is it in the set B? No, it's not. So it can't be in the intersection. Remember, it has to be in both to be included. So A intersect B is actually the interval from three to five. You make sure that there's a bracket on your three and a parenthesis on your five. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.